Well, I got a letter over the weekend from my only internet service provider, or ISP, um, that they are upgrading their modems, so they want me to come up there and visit one of their offices to exchange my existing modem and receive a new one. So, that's where I'm going. I wish we had other internet service providers here, but no, no. We only have this one provider, and of course the Yelp reviews are pretty much all one star because they suck and we cannot get anybody else in here because they've got a monopoly in our area and somehow I thought all those monopolies were supposed to go away but nope because you know Time Warner and others are close by but can't get in because for whatever reason they can't uh, they have to rent the lines or whatever so of course they charge you know the ISP will charge them a rental fee or whatever so supposedly Google Fiber is supposed to be making inroads, but we've they've been talking about that for two years and so far nothing. So anyway, enough ranting. I'm gonna go ahead and drive on up there, change out my modem, and we'll head on back. Internet. Well, I managed to ditch both cable and the landline, but I cannot get rid of the internet because they're the only game in town, and they will not. You know, I mean, I'm paying fifty-five dollars a month for you know the basic cable modem service, which is one step above DSL. So, yeah. Um, with them and uh, but again don't have a choice it's either deal with their you know sorry service or go without internet now I've got AT&T you know and if I just needed internet through my phone well I've got that but I need it for my small business and of course for my videos to upload and all that stuff I've got to have you know, Cat5 cable line for, you know, faster internet. You know, I know they're trying to move uh, into fiber optics, but of course that's another hefty price. Because again, cable modem, and you know, they charge what they charge. And then the uh, cable modem, or cable and the fiber optic, yeah, for whatever reason, uh, they charge extra for that. So, anyway, yeah, let me see if I can make a left here. And go to their new building that they just put up. some of our taxpayer money. And of course they got themselves a nice little uh, parking area. Now I think this parking lot it doesn't say who it's for or whatever but you know what I think I'll just drive through the big old puddle and uh, park here because there's a building right there, so as far as I can tell, maybe I can get them to change out my modem, so see what kind of a hassle this will be. Probably not much of one, but again, paying ridiculous certain prices for crappy service so anyway I'll be right back oh boy it's like twice the size of what I had so now I'm gonna have to do some rearranging on my setup so I can <laughs> make this thing you know make some room for this thing to work 
beautiful of course no charge or anything and it's like new and improved then I overhear them saying you know their system is slow and I'm thinking to myself yeah typical typical service that they provide and it's even affecting their own you know workers in their office so all right I'm gonna get this thing home and then try to get it all wired up and connected okay Low traffic here. Beautiful, yep. Well, that's all well and good. They give us new equipment, new and improved, whatever reason, I don't know. Yeah, now I'm going to have to figure out where I'm going to mount it and all that stuff. I mean, connecting it up won't be a problem. It's just i got to adjust my mounting screws in my at my desk where everything is wired. Fun! Yeah, of course, this one has built-in Wi-Fi. I don't use Wi-Fi in my house. connected and of course I don't have internet <laughs> freak sakes I mean it never fails you know oh yeah just plug it up and connect it and you'll have you know you'll be back to where you need to be yeah awesome Yeah, so these screws here, one there and one there, and that's where my original modem was. But again, this thing's so big and you can't mount it, <clears throat> so it had to come up on the top shelf. Luckily, I got rid of my fax because, you know, the cable, the short little internet cable they provided, <laughs> barely long enough, but, uh, yep, I'll, uh, I guess I'll just have to get used to this and test it out. You know, 5 gigahertz, 2.4 gigahertz, that's the Wi-Fi signal. So, yeah, I need to get that turned off because I'm not using it. But Or get it programmed where I, whenever I do use it, then I'll be good to go. So, yay. Uh, okay. Well, everything seems to be working fine now. I got the Wi-Fi turned off because I do not use it. I've got everything hardwired here. And it's been like this for years, so I have no plans on changing it. So I've got Cat5 run throughout my house, you know. So I'm just going to leave it that way. But, uh, yep, got everything squared away. And the internet seems to be doing fine now that uh, tech support's turned off my 2.4 gig gigahertz and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So like I said, I'll probably use that in the future, but really I have no use for it, and I don't want to be hacked from people out outside of my place and the apartments down the street so it is off so I guess we're good to go and I've got everything wired up where it needs to be cable management has gone to crap but hey as long as it works I'm just like 
I'll live with it. So, all right, another small project done at my place. So until the next <laughs> video, adios.